everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tori's Tidbits. Uh, I didn't do a video last week because we really didn't do a lot. This week, I didn't think we really did a lot. But I started writing everything down and there's a lot to come next week. So I want to give you guys a heads up. So uh, what we did this week, we passed the rules on the House floor. So that is key for us to start passing legislation uh, and getting it over to the Senate and, and the other way around. So that's finally done. Uh, we finally have the state of the state from the governor. It's really not as exciting on the third week compared to on the first week because we already knew her budget. We already knew what she was going to advocate for. Um, and we've already started the legislative process. So it's kind of unfortunate that she wasn't able to do it on the first week due to her having a positive COVID test. But um, the other thing too, it turned out in a good way. It was a false positive and um, she's good to go. And then the other exciting thing that happened, I met with the county appraisers and the clerks and the sheriffs this week. They all came up. So it was always great to see Sheriff Bellander. He was up there and uh, just kind of see what they have on their agenda for this year and what they support and don't support. So this is, this is where you need to be prepared for next week. And this is going to be huge. So there's hearings. And these are the committees that I'm on. There's hearings in financial institutions and pensions, and there's a hearing, there's multiple hearings in insurance. So I think it's going to be a busy week with those two committees, and those are just the two that I serve on. And then we're also starting the budget hearing process. And I get a little nerdy uh, when it comes to budgets, but I've definitely done a huge deep dive and educated and asked numerous questions about the higher education budget and uh, look forward to getting it through hearing what the universities are wanting, what the community colleges where they're at, uh, tech colleges, independent colleges, so forth. So um, that's what we're starting next week. The other thing that's going to be huge for you for next week is three of the bills that I'm working on all are having hearings. So that's going to be very, very hectic. Um, so Common Consumption District, that's one that I've been working with Sarah Arnberger on with uh, Great Ben Alive and actually the city of Topeka and many other folks are interested in this. So, you know, in Great Bend, we have the final Fridays on Forest. That's called a Common Consumption District. Well, what the plan is, is to expand it and you can walk from one area of the district to another with a drink in your hand. And the kicker is you can do it without having the streets blocked off because when you block off all the streets, then we have no parking. And so um, I'm excited. So we have a hearing on that this this week, uh, this coming week. We also have a hearing on right to start. This is a bill that I've been working on for about a year now, and it's to remove the red tape for entrepreneurs in the state of Kansas. So I think that Kansas is a business friendly state. I think that we are a startup friendly state and I want to be even more startup friendly. And so um, I'll have Jason uh, grill with Right to Start. We could do a video over it so you guys know what all it, what all it entails. And then remember the uh, when I mentioned the Cardinal Lanes and Hoisington and removing the 30% food requirement for Sundays for him to be able to sell beer. Well, we're having a hearing on that this week as well, and I'm very excited. ABC doesn't seem to have a problem with it so far, so I think that um, it should just be a smooth bill to get through, and we can get it signed into law. And you guys can go to Hoisington on Sundays, go bowl and have a beer, and watch the Chiefs play or whatever you guys want to do. Um, I just want to end with two bills that I introduced this week, one with uh, Representative Christy Williams, out of Augusta, we introduced a hemp bill. So she worked with her hemp folks down in Augusta. I worked with South Bend Hemp and uh, made a uh, a hemp friendly bill. So I'll see if you guys are actually if you guys aren't already following um, South Bend Hemp and following everything that Melissa posts. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. It is fascinating, and I'll see when they come up for the hearing if we can just do a a video over it. And another bill, which is going to be probably a little bit more controversial, uh, has to deal with the three mile radius. So here's here's the example of I want to give you guys so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. Um, currently, I live in the three mile radius outside of Great Bend. 
And my other house, I lived in the three mile radius outside of Great Bend. So I have two instances. And um, both instances, I had to deal with Great Bend zoning laws and ordinances. I had to deal with other ordinances, so forth. So I believe that if myself or anybody who lives in that three mile radius, if they have to abide by certain city ordinances, then we should get a voting number on city council. We should be able to vote for mayor and we should be able to vote for the other major elections that happen that are only for folks who live within the city of Great Bend, such as raising the sales tax, the bond issue on the police department, all of that. I think it's fair. So um, that's my bill that I introduced. And then I know some other folks, they went and they introduced that the three mile radius, um, I guess a uh, three mile radius agreement should be ceased. And I agree with either one, but I just am, uh, I know that many folks that I talk to that live in three mile radius, they're frustrated. I'm frustrated. And I think that my path is a, a happy medium, but if the path is to get rid of it, then the path is to get rid of it. So anyways, uh, that's what I had this week and that's what I have planned for next week. If you guys have any questions about anything, you always know to reach out and I look forward to seeing you all next week with what happened this week or the next week in Tori's Tippets. So have a good one and stay warm this weekend.